begin with, let's take a trip together. Uh, if you go in uh, from El Paso toward the northeast part of the city, you'll come to the north-south freeway, and we're going to turn north on the on that uh, road, on that interstate, like anyway, uh, and we'll be going north. The number of that highway is U.S. Highway 54. We'll be going toward the city of Alamogordo, up through New Mexico. In fact, we'll be traveling on this uh, highway for about two days. We'll uh, go through some various towns and villages like Bond, New Mexico. Maybe some people have heard of that. Uh, uh, Mara Vista, New Mexico, nobody's heard of that little town. But anyhow, we'll be go continuing on US High 54 through uh, a corner of Texas up into passing through Guymon, Oklahoma, and then all the way across the state of Kansas. And then in Kansas, we'll begin to go across parts of Missouri. And after a while in Missouri, we'll get to the hills of Missouri called the Ozarks. Now the Ozark Hills, sometimes called mountains, but that's a little bit of stretch of the word mountain, I believe. But you stay on that Highway 54, after a while you'll come to kind of a uh, memorial place or a outstanding, a well-known place called Lake of the Ozarks, well known to the tourist area, all the people all over the all this, uh, state of Missouri. But after you uh, cross the, the uh, bridge just below Bagnell Dam and the Lake of the Ozarks, you go 12 miles to the town of Eldon, Missouri. There you turn off the main road, go to the four-way stop, turn left, and go two blocks, and then you go uh, west or uh, uh, there, and then you go a couple of blocks north, and uh, you'll pass the Eldon High School. That's a, a school where not very many famous people have graduated from. But then you'll, uh, about three blocks, you'll go to uh, the edge of the city, but it don't take you long to leave the little town of Eldon. You'll travel north, uh, 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 not too, too many miles, and then travel west, about six miles we'll come to the Morrow Creek Low Water Bridge. Now people out in the West, they, they don't perhaps know what a low water bridge is, but it's kind of interesting, the, uh, as long as the river is running or the creek's running at its normal flow, it's under the bridge, but when it gets some rain, it goes over the bridge. But after, uh, after we go up the hill from uh, Morrow Creek uh, Low Water Bridge, we come to a crossroads, we turn right, very shortly we'll come to a steep hill, the steepest hill around any part of Missouri there for a road. And uh, you, your, our vehicle may uh, kind of spin a little bit on the big loose rocks, but on the solid rocks it'll grab and jerk and we'll get up. And when we get up to the top, we stop. And uh, there the road goes both directions, but straight ahead we'll see an open gate. And you look down uh, that lane or that uh, driveway, maybe 150 yards or so, and in, in front of those big trees, you'll see a two-story log house. That was in the second floor of that house one night. I knelt beside my, beside my bed and asked Jesus to come in my heart. And that was uh, late in the summer after my uh, first year of high school. But back up in the road, we'll follow the edge of our property down to the corner, and then we'll make a left turn and continue north. Uh, it won't take us long to pass the uh, our property because it's only 40 acres and uh, hills and a lot of uh, some rocks. What some people call perhaps a hard scrabble farm. We'll go just a ways past our property, take make a turn down toward the uh, Beard Creek Ford. Now, we'll go through the water, but nobody, we don't want to get nervous at all because down underneath the water at that ford, there's a cement down there, so we'll cross through the water easily. Just after we cross uh, Beard Creek Ford, we take a left, and we uh, on another little uh, country road, we'll go about six miles. Then, then we'll come to what could be called, I guess, a, a kind of a gravel highway. It's a wider road. And we'll turn right on that, and we'll go not far, uh, about a mile and a half, two miles, and there on the left, kind of down under the hill, there uh, near the road, but not on the road, there's a white uh, wooden church building. So we'll turn in there. 
and we see a sign that says High Point Baptist Church. Now you might ask, well, if it's a high point, uh, how come it's down under the hill? Well, the town just up ahead, but we don't go there. So as we park and we uh, walk toward the front door of the High Point Baptist Church, memories will come back to me. Memories of the first time that I ever approached a church building of any kind, and as I'm going to the, toward the door, many thoughts came to me. Like, why am I here in the first place? Maybe I should turn around and go home. Or maybe the thought like, what goes on inside a church building anyway? Maybe I don't want to go in there. But after I opened the door, there was a joyous, pleasant surprise. Because inside were some friends that I went to high school with. At the High Point Baptist Church, later on, I made a profession of faith during an evangelistic meeting, and uh, later on was baptized. And then, just oh, a few days actually before I graduated from high school, the High Point Church handed me a piece of paper. At the bottom was the name of the church, in the middle it had my name, and at the top it said, rather bold letters, license to preach. So this song is in memory of that country church in the hills of Missouri. There's a place dear to me where I'm longing to be with my friends at the old country church. There with mother we went and our Sundays were spent with our friends at the old country church. Precious years of memory, oh what joy. Someday I may rest with the friends I love best in a grave near the old country church. Precious years of memory, oh what joy they bring to me.
Missing. Lois had a mic and she sang at the church. <laughs> she sang on the chorus. Yeah. 